Hello everybody, welcome to the video and we're going to be checking out the newest update here, the newest event on Apex Legends which started today. And so we got the prize tracker to check out, we got the events or the yeah the collection event rewards, uh, well not rewards but things you have to buy and purchase through or just unlock through said packs by buying the packs or buying it yourself or each item yourself with said credits or currency right. Uh, or the other currency, which is the blue crystal currency. So let's go ahead from right to left. Let's start off with the epic side. So we got epic purple pounce, which is a peacekeeper skin. And then we have the gold circuit triple take skin. Then we have the gilded serpent devotion skin. The regal resolve rampart skin. Okay. Then we have the Killer Jewel. Oh, I get it. <laughs> the Watson skin. Oh, this one doesn't look too bad. Actually, I like this one. Out of the out of the things that we've seen right now, this one looks pretty good. Yeah, pretty solid. I don't know if this is like a, a recolor, I guess, because they've been doing that a lot recently. I don't know. But it looks pretty good, in my opinion. Next up, we got the Cowl and Copper. Mm, this one looks all right. Not too crazy or over the top, but it looks all right. Then we have the Venom Grip sticker. Then the Death Suits You Hollow. Okay. We get the little robot. Okay, so these next two, I believe they're just frames, so you can use these frames for anybody. But this is the Shattered Skyline frame. Then we have the Wanted Man frame. And then the next two are emotes. So we got the Dream Team emote for Vantage. Got her dancing around and just moving around, celebrating with the bat. And lastly is the Loosen Up Mirage emote. Oh gosh. <laughs> imagine imagine if you can use you can use this emote right here for any of the uh, legends. That'd be <laughs> that'd be pretty cool and kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, this is the dress to kill, my bad. This is the dress to kill limited time event. And it's not just these rewards or these cosmetic stuff that they've added for the collection. Uh, there's also a mode and stuff like that that they brought back. So we'll, we'll check that in a second. Uh, but next up is the Golden Venom Legendary Skin for the Mastiff. Ooh, this looks really good. Damn. Super clean. Yeah, very, very clean as you can see right there. Next up is the Clean Kill. I just said clean. <laughs> uh, for the Volt. Then we have the cleaner for the Nemesis skin. Ooh, look at this. Damn. This looks really good. I, I like this one. This one's my favorite right here. Next up is the 3030, the polished power. Mm, this one's a little bit more to the basic side. Not, nothing too crazy about that one. The Lupine, Lupe, Lupine Luxury for the RE45 legendary skin. Then we have the High Roller legendary skin for the Spitfire. Ooh, okay. I like this one too. I mean, I don't use the weapon, but this one looks pretty solid too. Next up, we got the character skins. So we got the Newcastle skin, the Chaperone. Ah, uh, yeah, this one he looks dressed and ready to go. He's got the pants and the shirt and the suit, right? Yeah, this one looks good. He's got the armor piece and everything, which is his equipment, right? Ooh, okay, okay. I, I kind of saw this in the trailer when they released the trailer, right? It's for Revenant. We got the former Glory Revenant skin. Uh, okay, this one we gotta check out. Uh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, he's he looks. Oh, look at his eyes. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, he's evil. I love it. I love the color. It's got the white, black, red, gold look to it. And um, I think this could be. Uh, I don't know if it's like a Darth Vader thing where he, like the metal pieces or I guess the mask or whatever the, on his face, right, has come off, like the top area. Or this could be like the unfinished version of Revenant where they haven't fully covered his head, the top of his head and the hair yet. I'm not exactly sure, but it, I mean, it's crazy because that is, you know, that he used to be human. And now look at him, now he's all robot, robot, so... Yeah, and he's just, he's a killer, right? So, <laughs> um, yeah, again, this goes for 1800 All of these go for 1800 by the way. Next up, we got the Furious Fatale, which is for Mad Maggie. Okay. All right, she looks, uh, she looks ready. She looks ready to fight. Yeah. Next up is the Sharp Dressed Loba skin. Oh, okay, 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 Loba. All right, all right. Got that hairstyle. I don't know how I feel about that hairstyle, though. 
but you know it's it reminds me a lot of the classic looks like the 2000 movies you know looks so you know not, not too bad the hairstyle i mean uh, next up is the Lethal Lass Horizon skin, and for this one right here, we have seen her. We have seen this. This was like the she's like the star for this collection event, right? And if you guys don't know, if you get all these rewards or all you collect and buy all of these right here, or unlock them by buying packs and whatnot, you do get her heirloom at the end. And we're gonna check that in a second. But yeah, that's her skin right here. She's got the Aussie glasses and uh, the rest of the outfit, you know. The legendary classified crypto skin. Uh, I, f I feel like this is a recolor. I don't know. I might be wrong. I f or maybe some of these are recolors. I don't know. Because uh, Apex has been doing this for quite a while now. Just recoloring different skins and not coming out with new skins. So if this is a recolor, let me know. Because I think it is. And again, all of these skins, all the legendary stuff goes for $1,800. Which is technically $18 each. And the top part goes for a thousand, which is ten dollars each. That is quite a bit, <laughs> quite a bit of things here, guys. But uh, yeah, that is the whole collection event and the re and the stuff that you can collect, right? By getting either of these packs and you get the percentage right there on the top left. Um, but it's not just that, guys. We also get the heirloom, like I said. If you get it all, you get all twenty-four items. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, the heirloom. We got the mythic melee weapon skin. For Horizon. And this comes with obviously the frame, as you can see, or the pose right there. Boom. When you see me, you'll know it's the end. Or a new beginning. It's all relative, really. Yeah, so it's all relative. There we go. That's her quote. And you get the melee weapon, obviously. Let's check this out. There we go. Actually looks pretty cool. I wonder what I wonder how or I'm wondering how, yes, the animations or the inspections look, you know. But yeah, that's it, guys. That is it for the event or the collection event, right? There's stuff that you can collect. And obviously, you, you buy the packs and then you unlock them. And you get you can unlock these through the packs, through said packs, right? And it costs $7 per pack. That's what it says right there. Uh, let's go to the event. So moving on to the event offers, we got different other other skins here. We got the Peak Performance Bundle, we got the Cybernetic Payload, the Chaperone Bundle, and the Classified Bundle. Wow, this goes for $50? That is insane. But I believe it comes with the the bundle? Yeah, the Dress to Kill Bundle. Okay. So you get the skin and you would get uh, seven of those packs, which would unlock... Uh, some of the rewards or some of the items, cosmetic items in said collection event. Uh, but the chances are pretty, I mean, you, you have to get lucky. You have to get lucky. There's so much content in this game, you're going to have to get super lucky. Uh, so that goes for that. We have the Chaperone Bundle, which co comes with only three. But this one goes for $2,500. Okay, $25. The Cybernetic Payload goes for $1,250. And it's just, it's just a skin. Okay. And lastly is the Peak Performance, uh, I mean, this one looks good, it's Octane, obviously Octane has like pretty, a lot of good skins, and uh, this, one, this one doesn't uh, disappoint, I think. This goes for $21.50, which is $20, and we got the Master Blaster Mastiff skin, which at the end looks good, I actually like the, the finish and the colors cho chosen here, uh, like the combo colors, nice, not too bad. And on the right side, we got returning favorites that we can check out. And uh, lastly, we can check out the store. We have Project 19 store going on. We got the featured stuff going on here as well. Um, we have the Project 19 bundle, or just the Project 19, just the skin itself, and so forth. So that's it for the store stuff and the seasonal or quote unquote event stuff, right? And uh, let's go to the price tracker. So there's a price tracker. This is free stuff. So this is you get you can unlock all of these rewards just by playing, you know, and unlocking, getting those points. Uh, when you do like say win matches, you get kills and or damage and stuff like that. There's different. There's a set of challenges you can complete, and, and they're daily challenges, by the way. And once you get all the points, you can get all of these. So let's start off with this one. You get the dress to kill, uh, just the banner. Then is the music. Let's hear the music. Okay, okay. I, I kind of like it. It's a little bit more epic. We got 10 Battle Pass stars, which is technically one tier. Then we also have the No Cheese, No Mercy. Oh gosh, what the heck? 
It's a hollow spray. Hmm. Then we have three Battle Pass stars. Then we also have the Refined Sanctuary, which is a frame. Then we have the Not the Dummies You're Looking For. <laughs> what? Not the Dummies You're Looking For. Wow, that's like a, that's a reference to Star Wars right there. Then we have one Bugged Weapon Charm. It's an epic one, by the way. Let's look at a zoom in on that. Yep, looks very buggy, all right. <laughs> uh, we got, uh, yeah, bugged. We have 25 crafting materials. Three more stars, more crafting materials. And the last two are the biggest uh, rewards you can get. And then, again, they're free. You just complete challenges and you get the points. So we got the bow check skin. Ooh, pretty basic as well. Um, but I do like the colors. It's nice and red and got a, a little splatter of gold on yeah on the side of it or down or just around it around the whole weapon itself but eh, it's epic so it's not too bad if it was legendary i think it would be better but i digress that's fine and lastly is the high scale hunter which is the bloodhound skin and i think this is uh, this is what i don't like about apex is they they just recolor a bunch of like either a default skin or they just mm, just minor add minor changes to some said skins and that's about it so in this case i think this is the, the, the default skin just with different colors and i don't know i mean it's epic i guess it's okay but i just don't like that they do that so but yeah you get this at the very end i mean it looks cool and lastly guys i can mention here is we got a new weapon not a new weapon <laughs> we have a new mode or at least a mode that has come back so two things, we got the new mode, which is Armed and Dangerous, and it's only playable on uh, Storm Point, I guess. It's only playable on Storm Point, yeah. Very weird, very odd that it's only on Storm Point, but there we go. Um, actually, no, not only on Storm Point, what am I saying? It's gonna change after 45 minutes, so it'll be changing to World's Edge, Storm Point, and I believe Broken Moon. So that's another thing I wanna talk about, guys, is the map changes. They changed the map, I think, the rotation of the maps. So currently, right now, on the trios and duos, you can play Broken Moon, which is on right now. Then you have World's Edge, which they still kept, right? But then they added Storm Point. So you got sort they added they re-added Storm Point and Broken Moon, but they took away King's Canyon and Olympus. So both of those are gone for right now. Even on ranked, if you go to ranked, Storm Point only, break Broken Moon, and then World's Edge. That is it. There is no King's Canyon or Olympus. Both are gone. I'm kind of sad about that because I do like King's Canyon. That's my favorite map. And then I do like Olympus and World's Edge. I think those two are my favorite. Broken Moon, Storm Point, not, not my favorite maps. So it kind of sucks that they did that. But that is it, guys. That is it for the event. The Armed armed and Dangerous mode is back. But also the Dress to Kill event is here, guys. My favorite thing has got to be the former Glory Legendary Skin for Revenant. But let me know what you guys think and what are your guys' thoughts about this event. And I just want to cover here, guys, the content and just the you know the trackers and uh, just the just the event itself. And uh, it looks pretty solid. I'm curious to try out the mode again because I haven't played the mode in forever. I haven't, I haven't been playing too much of Apex, so it's been I feel like it's been forever since I played that mode specifically. So I'll be jumping in and checking that out. And uh, this event will last for 14 days, two weeks, starting today. I mean, it already started already, as you can see. But uh, we'll see what happens, guys. We'll see. And that's it, guys, for the video. If you guys did enjoy, press the like button, guys. I like it. I also appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. And I'll be jumping into some Apex, some Call of Duty this weekend. So be sure to check me out there. On the link down below in the description down below is the link to my Twitch. Follow me, guys, for a nice stream. I'll be live on here, on YouTube, and on Twitch. So check me out. But yeah, that's it, guys. Take care. Stay amazing. And I'll see y'all at the next video.